Okay, so this is the companion video to the Cypher Macrovirus video. Uh, if you haven't seen that yet, I suggest you watch that first. It's not imperative, but this virus actually was dropped by that Windows 98 Macrovirus. So that's why we're taking a look at it now, and that's why there's two videos at once. Yay! Anyway, take a look at the file we have here. So the file dropped 564 bytes. Just check on the A drive really quick. We have a, we have a scratch diskette in here. And it just has some basic DOS files that I copied over to it. Going back to the drive, we're going to go ahead and run the virus. So the Italian virus is now present in memory and will affect files. Uh, if we look at graphics.com, our old time favorite, 19,742 bytes. We run it, the virus infects it. And we see an increase of about 500 bytes, about the size of the Italian virus, so it just injects its code in there. Similarly, we'll see the same thing. If we look at sys, run it again. And now that's been infected, it is now just over 10,000 bytes. So the Italian virus activates every day in April. Let's change it to 415, why not? And we'll run it again. And there you go, you get the Italian flag. Line saying Italy is the best country in the world, and it accessed the disk that we had, where we had our programs written to that disk. So we'll go ahead and restart and see what it did. And our computer still boots, so that's good. If you look on the disk drive, however, we'll see that the disk has been corrupted. So without a special utility to recover the disk, I don't know if it just scrambles like the partition table or something, but basically your disk is hosed, you gotta reformat it and lose the data on it unless you have some special recovery utilities to get the data off which might be a problem if your whole system is infected with a virus so anyway it's pretty bad however it's not very dangerous especially in the context of the cipher macro virus I mean not many people are going to be hunting around in their windows folder trying to find a hidden file named ital-boy.com and then running it except for me but that's not important deal is, the average end user really wouldn't be affected that much by it other than losing their Word document files, which is really the main threat of Cypher. So the additional dropping of a DOS virus is really not that big of a deal. And that is about it for the Cypher and Italian DOS viruses.